Hi, welcome back to Taste Panel for Chili Nerds, episode 54. Alright, so, uh, today we are going to take a little journey to the far north where it is blustering and cold. And uh, we're going to bring you Alaska lava. Alright, yeah, which uh, kind of stands to reason, because uh, I know it's May out there right now, but uh, wow, it's unseasonably chilly. So, uh, yeah, it kind of brings to mind these uh, glaciers and such, so maybe we need the Alaska lava to heat things up a little bit. Alright, so, hey, let's look at this sauce. Alaska lava hot sauce. Alright. It says here, made from the finest hot peppers. Okay, and then we got our little warning here. It is hot. Okay, well, we hope so. Yeah, all right. Now, we also have another little caption here which says it is also lava-licious. So, uh... We have the sun here hot, which I'm assuming is promising some heat for us. And then we also have Lava Licious, which I'm assuming is going to promise us lots of flavor. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we do have a little, uh, a little reading material, which I'll go through right now, and uh, we'll see where this takes us. Yeah. Alright, Alaska Lava Hot Sauce is made from the finest hot peppers grown in the Hawaiian Islands and other exotic locations. All right, so we're starting out in the south. I wonder when it's going to take us north. Let's find out. These peppers have come together with the glacial waters of the far north to form this delightful blend. Okay, and it is made in Alaska. Uh by the Alaska Lava Hot Sauce Company, LLC, out of Juneau, Alaska. Okay, and if you want to check out their website, uh, would be www.alaskalava.com. How simple that is. All right, let's get a little look at Alaska Lava quick. Uh, yeah, and we'll see what's in it. All right. Ingredients. Chili peppers. It doesn't say what kind. All it says is chili peppers, so uh, kind of leaves a little bit of a mystery there. But anyway, uh, vinegar, water, tomatoes, modified cornstarch, onion powder, and salt. All right, I want to yeah, have a little pull tab here, which I'm sure will be wonderful at removing this, as usual. But uh, the trusty knife shall do the rest and that way we can get a better glimpse of the bottleneck and actually take a look at the, what the sauce looks like. Yeah. And that is the important thing. Alright. There you have it. Okay. So, uh, again, looks like with Alaska Lava we have a pretty, pretty short fill line there. But, uh, hey, that doesn't affect the flavor. And it looks like we're looking at a, a little bit of a runny, more watery looking sauce, though you do see some pulping forming in the neck there. So it kind of has a, uh, maybe a step above Tabasco sauce as far as, uh, as far as the body goes. And uh, hey, let's check out what the taste is. Yeah. All right. Uh, drip cap. We can... Uh, Dispose of that, and now, all right, wow, kind of, kind of has a, <clears throat> wow, really a peppery nose mixed with some vinegar, kind of, again, giving me an aroma that's going through my nose and catching the back of my throat, just the aroma alone, and <clears throat> kind of giving me a little bit of a, tickle on the back of my throat, making me cold. So, uh, kind of really peppery, kind of fruity, kind of vinegary, and, uh, yeah. Hey, trusty spoon, hey, let's do it. Yeah, again, this is 
pouring very thin. I will do my best. Whoa, oh, oh, there goes a tr big time trip. All right, I'll do my best to bring that up. Uh, I'm gonna recap that off only because we lost a little bit there with the transfer. All right, here we go, guys. Mm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Lost a lot on the floor there, but that's all right. Um, okay. Initial, initial hit kind of kind has a, a fruity note to it, but um, also uh, considerable tanginess, but um, really getting a rising kind of almost weird licorice pepper note in my mouth kind of kind of strange like a like a black licorice but yet I taste those chilies in there I don't know what kind of chilies again it didn't say uh, what kind of chilies they were but <clears throat> getting a kind of a nice burn the back of the throat area, uh, back of the tongue area, um, kind of, oddly enough, almost has a, um, kind of an extracting note there, but, uh, in the ingredients, uh, we didn't read any such thing, but I, I am getting kind of like a, that weird, almost chemically licorice -y, um, peppery extract kind of taste. Um, but again, it's a, uh, an all-natural sauce. So, uh, something in the ingredients there, or perhaps the peppers they're using for this, which we're not sure what they are, uh, kind of, uh, kind of mimicking that, that note. But I'm getting it. It's not, definitely not without heat. Got a, a, a really nice burn, actually. Back of the tongue, rising up the back of the back of my palate, coming up uh, throat, tongue. Uh, got a slight lip sting going uh, going a, across my bottom lip and fanning into my top lip. Uh, 